Hello, I'm Charlie Fitzpatrick, and I'm an Education Manager for Esri. I'd like to talk about telling stories with maps. Maps are powerful tools for telling a story to someone. Esri's Story Maps website has a number of examples that show how to do this really well, and there are downloadable templates you can use for free to create some very effective presentations. But you can also do this quite quickly and simply with your own data and the capacities inside ArcGIS Online. You can make a map, save it, share it, and then create an additional web application using a number of basic templates and then save and share those as well, all for free. Think about the project data that you have. As long as you have good location information and a set of characteristics about different features at different locations, you can see it better and understand it more powerfully on a map. Start with the data table. Organize your data as rows and columns, with each row representing a different record or feature, and each column or field representing a different characteristic. Like things go together. Everything about one feature is in the same row. Looking down a column shows the same bit of information about all of the features, formatted in exactly the same way. You can build a simple table with any text editor, but for more complex data a spreadsheet helps you keep the rows and columns properly organized. Record your location using latitude and longitude stored in decimal degrees. Using decimal degrees, north latitude and east longitude are positive numbers, while south latitude and west longitude are negative numbers. ArcGIS Online can handle up to a thousand records in a single file this way as long as everything is formatted properly. You can save your file as a comma separated values table or a CSV file or just as a simple text file. ArcGIS Online can handle both. When gathering your data, whether you're using a handheld GPS or a smartphone with a GPS app, Set the location format as decimal degrees and this will facilitate your table design. Any handheld GPS or GPS app designed for recording data should let you do this. Once you have your data table, head over to ArcGIS Online, www.arcgis.com. To save a map here, you will need to sign in either to an organizational account or to a free public account such as one you use for personal or class use. If you're new to ArcGIS Online, you can learn to use it easily with some guidance for educators and students at esriurl.com slash mappingwithago. ArcGIS Online gives you an easy to use mapping space from global to local scale with various tools, different base maps, and easy access to lots of additional data. But you have your own data table you want to map. So how do you do it? It's easy. Just drag it and drop it. As long as it's a properly formatted file from your text editor or spreadsheet, or even an export file from your GPS device, you can put it on the map. So let's demo that process. I have a data table and want to add it to the map, then classify it, symbolize it, choose how best to present it, and then save it and share it. So here I am, signed into my public account in ArcGIS Online. I have a data table about 14 different butterfly fish I saw in different spots while scuba diving in Hawaii. I have a set of characteristics including links to publicly accessible photos and what I want to do is to see them all on a map. 
So let's close the data table and then drag it and drop it on a map. There they are, in two different places. When I click on one of the spots, I see a pop-up with the fields of information from the table. And at this scale, a few of the dots are very close together. So I can click through them and even see the photos. I can even see the whole table. which I could sort by number or text. If I were logged into an organization account, I could even filter the data or do some geoprocessing with it. But for now, I want to classify these. First, let's zoom in on these records by Maui. And closer still, to the nine records around this little island. One of the great powers of a geographic information system or GIS like ArcGIS Online is the ability to classify features based on attributes. Let's change these butterfly fish from a single symbol to a unique symbol. using as our field the species or maybe the genus and maybe getting a different color pattern or changing the symbols so that they're all bigger with a little ring around them. and maybe changing one of the symbols to a special color. But maybe I want instead to focus on the depth at which I found them. So let's change to a color scheme and let's choose depth for our field. Now this looks good, but I want the deeper fish to be represented by a deeper color. So I'm going to flip the colors. And again, I want them all to be larger with a ring around it. Now I'm done changing symbols. I've classified and symbolized my data, but now I want to change the information that appears in the pop-up. I can do that by configuring the pop-up. For my title, I want the common name to show at the top. And then of all of these fields, I only need depth, genus, and species. But I want the depth to say it's the depth in feet, and I want species not to be capitalized here. And below that, I want the photo not as a link, but embedded in the pop-up. So I'm going to add an image without a title and just use the URL. And then save the pop-up. And now it shows what I want. Over in the contents, I want to rename this to say Butterfly Fish by Depth.
Finally, I want to zoom out to see all of my data. And I want to check to make sure it all works. Then I need to save my map. Give it some tags and give it a little summary and save. Now that it's saved, I can share my map with everyone and with any groups that I'm a part of. I can make a quick link to it and push it out to Facebook and Twitter, embed it on my personal web page, and make my own little story map from a template like we saw in the beginning. I'm going to copy this shortcut to the original map and that's going to come in handy. Before I share this with the public, I want to make sure some of the details are accurate. So I'm going to go to the details, more details, and then edit this page. In the description, I'm going to use that shortcut. I'm going to highlight it, set a web link, and have it show up in a new window. Under the access use, I'm going to say for educational use only. And under the credits, I'm going to add my name. Now it's ready to save. Now that it's saved, it's finally ready to share. I'm going to go back to the map and share and create a web application. There are several different choices and when you see a gear in the thumbnail that means this app is configurable. I want a simple app and I don't need to tweak anything so I'm just going to choose the basic viewer. Preview allows you to see a quick look of what it will be like. When you're ready to produce it, choose Publish. This allows you to save the map and now I'm going to save it and publish it. And I can go to the item now and share it. It's ready to share with everyone. And when I open it, I see that my share link gives me the opportunity to share by email, Facebook, and Twitter. Maps can tell powerful stories. So that's one way of telling a story with maps. You can find a lot more information at arcgis.com or storymaps.esri.com or at the Esri Ed Community website. Thank you.